Okay. So uh, basically, as we have said, under application, uh, just a run through application, the data has the, the data is called under application, the information is called data. Okay. Under transport layer, the information is called segment. Under internet layer, the, uh, the information is called packets. The network is called bits or frames, similarly to this one. Okay. Application presentation session is all uh, the information is called data, transport segment, network packets, data link is frames, under physical it is called bits. Okay. Now, the main difference between TCP uh, IP model is that OSI model is a general communication model, but TCP IP model is what the internet uses. So uh, basically, uh, we are using now TCP IP uh, model, not OSI. This is just our reference or by textbook. Okay? This one is our guide in the uh, application now of our internet, which is the TCP IP model. Okay. So I will not run to each detail. So what we have discussed about application presentation session is same, same as the application layer under TCP IP. Same with this one, changing name from network layer, now become internet layer. The network access layers, combination of data link, and then the physical uh, layer. Okay. So let us proceed to uh, security attacks. So there are numerous security attacks. So uh, the normal is that information source has been transferred to the information destination. Okay. So that's the ideal one. However, uh, there are certain attacks on our communication channel. The first one is the interruption as shown here. This is an attack on the availability of the data. Another one is the interception about the confidentiality of the data as shown here. Okay. Next one, the modification. Okay. Uh, modify the data as shown on the image. And then the fabrication, it is an attack on the authenticity. Now, let's dig uh, deeper on each of these tasks. Now, the concept under interruption is that it is a security threat in which available resources is attacked. Basically, you are unable now to access uh, the web server or the web server has been hijacked. So, for example, here you are the user, okay? and then you are trying to um, access your Facebook account. Right? And then you cannot access it, right? That's the concept under interruption. Okay, so uh, the services from the server you cannot access. Okay, so the attack is called interruption. Okay, the interception is the privacy of a user is compromised. Someone is not authorized person is accessing or intercepting data sent or received by the original authenticated user. So under interception, so you, you are communicating, uh, here you are communicating, for example, in a bank, okay? And then here are some third-party person that is intercepting, okay? Intercepting your data, okay? So basically, um, he is, this person attacking, okay, the, as a threat, of it can gather your personal information, such as your back accounts, and then later on use that one so that it can now uh, access your back account and then withdraw some money in it. So uh, this unauthorized person now have an access to your privacy. Okay, let's see attack under interception. For example, under the security attack of, uh, uh, of modification, same scenario as before. You are this person and then you are accessing your bank. Okay. Uh, that's the ideal one. So uh, this person is this unauthorized person now have some access into your account. And then this, for example, you want to withdraw to withdraw only five thousand pesos. Okay. And then uh, from that, uh, this person now is to imitate. Okay imitate that this one is the bank itself, okay? So uh, from that, uh, you are, since you are now on the verge of transacting, right? That you are not aware that this is not a bank. 
you are transacting, you, of course, send your personal information to it. And then you try to withdraw, for example, 5,000 pesos. And then from that, uh, you give the, the one on this uh, uh, attacker. Okay? So from that attacker now, it will now be an unauthorized person transacting on the real bank. Okay? So from that, it can now withdraw a much higher amount of money that is not uh, what you intend to withdraw. So basically, it alters oh, the original content of your data as highlighted on this uh, presentation. Okay, So fabrication uh, occurs when the attacker or security violator possess, uh, possess as a genuine person and access the resources or communicates with other genuine uh, users. So... Uh, the concept under fabrication is that uh, it is the concept under the identity theft. Okay, so same concept. Uh, it imitates that you are the genuine person. Okay, um, and then it will now coordinate on a bank okay? to transact okay? with your identity as your uh, uh, as your using your identity to transact on, the, on that bank, for example. Okay, that's the concept under fabrication. Now, to eliminate that security attacks on our network, oh, we have introduced the concept under cryptography. Uh, no technique in the present uh, world uh, can provide 100% uh, security. However, the most widely used technique is the concept under cryptography. So what's the concept under cryptography? Our original uh, message or plain text message has been encrypted. Okay, now transmitted on the internet, now decrypted, and then uh, interpreted again for plain text so that the receiver can now understand what the sender has been uh, sending. Okay, so the cryptography is in this context encryption and then decryption. So there are numerous techniques to encrypt the data. Okay, the concept under encryption is that it makes the plain text data difficult to understand okay, and then to interpret. Okay. So there are three okay, types of the cryptography, the private key, the public key, and then the message digest. So what is private key? Uh, the concept under private key is that the both, both sender and then the receiver have one secret key. So as you can see here, the sender and then the recipient have okay, one secret key. Okay? This one secret key, another secret key. One, another one is that this secret key is used to encrypt the data at sender's end. And after the data is encrypted, it is sent on the public domain to the receiver. So encrypt, show, encrypted, sent to the public domain. Okay? The next one, because the receiver knows and has a secret key, the encrypted data packets can easily be decrypted. Take note that this secret key, the center has the same secret key as the recipient. So, uh, same concept applies, okay, of course, on, uh, on our day-to-day -day life with our padlock, for example, on our gate, when we try to unlock it, and then the concept is that we have a duplicate key. Okay? So, for example, your father have a key the same as yours, okay? The same as your sisters, etc. And then, for example, on a car, okay? uh, there are three duplicate keys. That's a concept under private key. So each of you have the same key. Okay? Sender have same key. Recipient have the same key. So therefore, if the sender sends the data and then it is already encrypted, the recipient now can easily decrypt the data since it is, uh, they have the same key for encryption and then decryption, okay? That's the key point here. So it is required to have separate key for each host on the network. Separate key for each host, however, with the same one, have the same one secret key. Uh, the point is that uh, it has duplication, okay? It, it duplicates the secret key. So each of one should have 
the separate key with the same um, with the same content, right? Now, the example of which is data encryption standard. Okay, okay. so uh, let us uh, let us proceed to the next uh, cryptography concept, uh, the public key encryption. So in this encryption system, every user has its own secret key, and it is not uh, in the shared domain. Basically, uh, this one is private uh, to the recipient. Uh, the it has a unique okay, secret key with each of the recipient and the secret key is never revealed on the public domain okay and then the public key is always made public and it's used by senders to encrypt the data so when the user receives encrypted data he can easily decrypt it by using its own secret key okay an example is uh, rives uh, sharim uh, adleman rsa okay um, basically, the concept is that each recipient has its own private key. Okay? It is never shared on the public. However, uh, the one that has been used in encryption is the public key, meaning uh, every user has have access to this one. So uh, since they know the encryption algorithm with respect to the public key, and then from that, this uh, algorithm, uh, the recipient now that contains the private key can easily decrypt that one since it is on the public domain. Okay, that's the whole criteria. Basically, in combine in comparison with the private key, uh, each okay, in order for the recipient you now to decrypt the data, he or she should have the same private key as the sender. Okay. So the key for recipient should be the same as the key for this one, okay, the sender. In public key, uh, both the sender and the receiver, for example, the receiver will try to send, uh, it will access the public key and the public domain that is open for all. And then since they know the algorithm, we can now open that one using the unique uh, private key on each of the uh, recipients. Now, under the another one, there the message digest, another cryptography type is the message digest. So actual data is sent instead of hashed uh, value. Uh, instead, a hash value is calculated. So meaning our original uh, data is not been sent. A hash value is calculated. Okay? The other end user computes uh, own hash value and compares it with one uh, the one just received. If both hash values are matched, then it is accepted, otherwise rejected. The uh, Basically, it just uh, encrypts it in a manner that it is not on the plain text. So that's the concept of hashing. So it is MDB5 hashing, SHA512, Blake 2B. So basically, as you can see here, this message, hello world, cannot be easily interpreted using this message digest of SHA512. So as you can see, it is a series of numbers and uh, Letters, of course. Okay. So, hello world is the same as this one using this uh, message digest. Similarly, hello world is the same as this one using Blake to be. So, we do not use the actual data or information that we transmit. We use the digested part or the translated part uh, algorithm. Okay. With the SHA, I want to, and then Blake to be. Okay. So as a review on our presentation for the day, uh, we have differentiated uh, different uh, uh, computer network topologies. So we have said that computer topologies is basically the arrangement of the uh, network devices uh, on a certain communication networks. Okay? So it can be either connected by arranged into a ring, okay? circular manner, arranged star, Okay, the present it is connected to central hub. Okay, uh, array uh, bus topology. Which you can uh, uh, clearly uh, visualize uh, later on. Okay, as you can see here the network topologies. Allow me to run down them. Okay, uh, the bus topology is have a single shared communication channel. We have talked about also the tree topology. Uh, the extend uh, it is an extended star topology or multiple star topologies. Hybrid topology, right? 
um, another one, combination of different network topologies. Okay. Uh, we have discussed uh, that one. Okay. We have discussed also about the open systems interconnection and then the uh, transmission control protocol. Okay. The OSI system uh, is a seven layer okay, uh, model. However, in comparison to the CPIP, it is on the four level or four layers okay, model. Wherein we are using now the TCP IP uh, model on our uh, internet. Okay, so we have given a few mnemonics under network models. Okay, so the first one is this one. So the first mnemonic is all people seem to need uh, data processing, application, presentation, uh, session, trans uh, transport, network, data link, and the physical. Uh, uh, layer. And then another uh, mnemonics from bottom to top is uh, please do not tell secret passwords anytime. Application layer in uh, in one sentence is that it is the applications that we are using to uh, communicate on uh, on the network itself. Basically, we try to communicate the network by our webs, uh, web browser, our uh, Outlook, right? our Internet Explorer, okay, Edge, etc. Presentation layer, basically it's just the uh, conversion, okay? the compression, the compression, encryption, etc. Session layer, uh, basically the principle is that it uh, maintains the session in each of our uh, web pages that we are working on. Okay? So this explains the concept about we can uh, have the, a longer session on a certain tab, then a uh, shorter session on a certain tab on our uh, web browser. Uh, transport layer, uh, we talked about TCP uh, and then UDP. Um, the TCP is more re reliable and then uh, UDP is much faster, however, unreliable. Okay. Uh, network uh, routing of the, the data, okay? uh, data itself, talks about the IP addresses, okay? data link layer, the physical address, or the MAC address, talks about the MAC address, okay? uh, the LLC concept, okay? and then the physical layer, uh, talks about the transmission medium, talks about simplex, duplex, or duplex, okay? um, the RS-232 optical fiber transmission medium. Okay? Um, and then also we talked about describe the network okay? network security threats and cryptography there are different security threats such as uh, interruption interception modification fabrication we talked about that one and then the cryptography about the message digest the private key and then the public key um, concepts okay so that ends our presentation for today. Okay. Uh, thank you and uh, have a good day.